Hi, this is Kat Zhang, and today I'm going to be reading to you from the newest Amy Wu book, Amy Wu and the Warm Welcome. And here in the beginning, we have Amy's grandma sharing with us how to say welcome in a bunch of different languages. When Amy arrives at school, Miss Mary has a wonderful surprise, a new student. This is Lin, says Miss Mary. He moved here from China. Can everyone give him a big, warm welcome? Welcome, Lin, says Amy's class. Lin grins and opens his mouth. Then he shuts it again. His cheeks glow red. For lunch, Lin eats dumplings and tangerines. I'm having a dumpling party tonight, Amy says. Did you make those? Lin smiles, but doesn't reply. During playtime, Amy invites Lin aboard her pirate ship. He puts on a hat, but doesn't sing yo-ho. During show and tell, Amy picks Lin to share his favorite sport. He holds up a soccer ball, but doesn't say a word. Wow, a new classmate, says mom after school. Did you make him feel welcome? I tried, says Amy, but I don't know if I did. Just then, Lynn's dad arrives with Lynn's little sister. Lynn's face lights up. He giggles and chatters in Chinese. His sister giggles and chatters in Chinese. This is a whole new Lynn. Amy ponders the two Lynn's as she and her mom arrive at the store. She ponders while they buy dumpling skins. She ponders while they choose dumpling fillings. Amy's mom looks in their cart. That's enough for our guests, don't you think? Amy's pondering becomes a brilliant plan. Will it be enough for a few more, she asks. At home, Amy's grandma helps her roll out a long sheet of paper. Amy chooses her favorite markers. Then grandma writes the message while Amy says it aloud. She already knows the characters. Quan starts out soft like the hoot of an owl. Ying flies from her tongue like the ring of a bell, and Ni sounds a lot like Ni. All together, it means welcome, and welcome is exactly what Amy wants to say. Amy waits with her banner as the guests arrive. First come her parents' friends from work, then come Amy's friends from school. And finally, there is Lynn. Amy's hands tighten on her banner. She grins and opens her mouth. Then she shuts it again. Her cheeks glow red. Everyone is watching, but the words stick in Amy's throat. She thinks the characters in her mind. Quan starts out soft like the hoot of an owl. Ying flies from her tongue like the ring of a bell. And Ni sounds a lot like me. But she can't say them, no matter how hard she tries. A finger taps on her shoulder. Lin points to the table where the grown-ups are making dumplings. He doesn't say anything, but Amy understands. Lin makes a dumpling shaped like a little boat. Amy makes a dumpling shaped like a little purse. Boat, 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 purse, purse, purse. Together, their dumplings tumble into the pot. The boats float beside the purses. The purses float beside the boats. Everyone eats dumplings until they can't eat another bite. It's time for Lynn to go home. Amy sees her banner. She takes a deep breath. Quan starts out soft like the hoot of an owl. Ying flies from her tongue like the ring of a bell. And Ni sounds a lot like Ni. Amy's family laughs. Silly goose, they say. Welcome is for the beginning of a party, not the end but Amy knows better. It's never too late for a welcome. The end. And here in the back are instructions for you guys to make your very own welcome banners. Thanks for reading Amy's latest story with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.